Hello Divas, Jeets and Dolls, I'm Kira Couture and welcome back to my final fitting on fashionable little review show, Very Slay, where we go over every main stage runway look on RuPaul's Drag Race UK Series 6. And it's the grand finals. We have a brand new UK drag superstar. And I cannot wait to dive into the finale eleganza looks of our cast for this season. We will be getting into those very shortly. For those who don't know how the show works, if I thought the look was good, not impressive, but it was passable for the final theme, we give it an okay. If I absolutely adored it, it's a slay. And if I thought it was a bit of a miss, we give it an A. And that's all in efforts to find my weekly slay of the day, my favorite look of the whole episode, which will go head to head against Marmalade's Call Me Mother Nature runway look to battle it out once and for all to be this year's slate of the season. Whichever look holds that top spot today, we'll be getting an illustration made by me, and sneak peeks of that illustration can be found over on my Patreon, starting at the $3 tier level. And don't forget to join at the $5 tier level if you want a little bonus video going over the unaired looks from the eliminated queens throughout the season. There will be a bonus fashion illustration coming at some point as well, based on whichever look I think takes the top spot out of all of those. Be sure to head over to Patreon again for all of that. The link is in the description below. And if you want to support the content for free, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely little things. It goes such a long way and it will keep all kinds of drag TV fashion coverage in your little subscription feeds. Let's get going on these looks for this cast for one final time. Alrighty, first up we have Saki Yu. I loved this. This is so elegant. I thought it was absolutely stunning. I love the jewelry. I think it is a really flattering silhouette on her. It's a very simple gown, but I think it's really well done. And this is sculptural hair with the rhinestone detailing that normally I don't really care for, but I think this hairstyle is particularly very flattering and I think it's well done. It is going to be a slay for me. Then up next, we have Dita Garbo, who is doing this deconstructed star coat dress moment. I don't really think this is what I would choose for Finale Eleganza. Her makeup is gorgeous, as always. This is the kind of mug I would love to have in my late 40s. She is impossibly stunning, but I don't really like this hair all that much. I don't really care for the garment in terms of the brief, but I think it is still really, really good overall, just on a construction level, the detail level. The shoes aren't my favorite choice for this. I think there could have been some different styling choices made. Just like a red pump, I think would have worked better. So I'm gonna give her a look an okay. Then up next, we have Zahira in this little vinyl detail moment. I loved the silhouette of this and the textile work in the ruffle along the hemline and even along the neckline I think is really really well done. It's a great shape, it's great scaling, it's a really gorgeous silhouette and I think the hair is really flattering with this. I think of all the looks from Zahira that we saw in the competition this is the most put together, the most clean and I think it's the most successful for that reason. It's a slay. Then up next we have Kiki Snatch. The hair, I think the hair is nice on its own but I don't really care for it with this dress. And the dress is a gorgeous color on her, but I don't think it's a flattering shape. Like, I just don't think the way it's structured is doing her any favors. I think it makes her look really, really boxy. And I hate the shoe choice with it. I think in terms of the styling, Kiki has like probably the weakest styling out of all of this cast on this runway today. I think had she just done like a nude pump, it would have worked better or a pink pump to go with the dress. But I think that there's just some editing choices and she needs a little time to really like grow into her aesthetic. I think she's got all the elements there of this being a great look, but unfortunately it doesn't come together for me. So I'm going to be giving this look a nay, despite the fact the color's gorgeous on her. I just think that it's styled incredibly wrong and I think it is the worst one out of all the looks from this week. Sorry girl. Then up next we have Chanel O'Connor. This is gorgeous. This is just classic, timeless beauty. There's something that's very like Princess Grace of Monaco about this whole aesthetic. I actually really love this color on her. I love the textile work on the skirt and the hip. And I think it's just really well done in terms of construction and silhouette. It's really pretty, really flattering. Again, like Saki, this is hair that I normally don't like because I really don't like the sculptural stuff. I'm really over the rhinestone wigs. This works for me. It's really well done. Really gorgeous, mug stunning, jewelry and accessories are stunning, it's styled really well. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the nude base that's for the breast cups here. I think there's something about it that just makes it look like kind of wonky, partially deflated fake tits. At first I thought she was wearing a breastplate, so like the illusion is there and I appreciate the illusion, but 
I don't know, I just wish that that had been in the same fabric as the rest of the dress. It's a gorgeous look nonetheless, it's gonna be a slay. Then up next we have Octavia, who I also think needs some help in the styling department. For me, her and Kiki were the lowest two on the runway today. The hairstyle and color I do not think goes with this dress in the slightest. And the dress, I think the silhouette from the front straight on is pretty cool, but I don't like the placement of the feathers. And I just think that there's some overall scale problems that really just don't do anything for her. And even though she's got the spikes on the shoulder and the spikes on the hip, if you take those out, her silhouette with this dress is very boxy. So I think there's just like some weird proportion things going on with this that just don't work for me. So I'm gonna give her a look at okay. The color's gorgeous on her though. Up next we have Charity, the first ever on-screen voted Miss Congeniality for the franchise. I think the primary color palette makes sense for her to use that for the final look here. I think the scale of this is really wonderful. It works really well, but I don't really know if I would say that this is like finale eleganza for me. I wish that there had been like I don't know, a full gown or even more exaggeration. I think she could have gone further because this is a length of dress that we've seen from her a few times across the season. I think the top part of it is really, really gorgeous though. The little bows I really love. The big bow in the back is gorge. So it's, it's solid, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna give it an okay. And then up next we have Lil, and Lil's look here in this chainmail moment, this very Joan of Arc fantasy, reminds me so much of a look from my dear drag sis Kaylin. So I think this is very fun, it's very up my friend's alley, but this is also just really well structured. I love the editorial nature of this, I think the makeup is a fun choice, really just loved the armor inclusion, and I liked seeing something that wasn't just like a traditional style of gown. I can only imagine how cold this look is on the body. So I hope she has like some good insulation going on or a blanket at least because I would be Shivering constantly in a look like this. It's really solid I think it fits for her in terms of her aesthetic and her point of view as an artist wonderful work Sly. And now it's time for the looks from our final four queens starting off We're going to go with Relisa slaves here this leather dress. I love Honestly, this is something that I would probably wear myself because I love a leather moment. I think the silhouette's gorgeous. I think the chain work is really well done. The branding, it's very on brand for her. Really successful look in my opinion. I like the little bob with this. And I think she's done a good job of pushing herself outside of the lane that she kind of came into the competition with. So for me, this is a slay. Then we have Marmalade, and what can I say? This look is just fashion, Rococo excellence. I think this is one of the best Renali runway looks I think we've ever seen on Drag Race. It's stunning. The silhouette is incredibly gorgeous, and I can only imagine the feat of difficulty that creating a look like this came with. The hairstyle is not my particular favorite because again, I'm not a fan of these really big sculptural wigs like this, but with this look, it really works and makes a lot of sense. Honestly, she looks like a Final Fantasy villain, and that's something I can absolutely get behind. This is gonna be a slide. Then we have Lavoie, who to me looks like one of those Barbie cakes, you know, with the, the icing skirt. I, I love the top half of this. I loved her makeup, the hairstyle is really gorgeous on her, the jewelry's great. I loved from the waist up. I wish that the gown had just been basically a continuation of the top of this. Even if the skirt had been white as well, but just been draped differently or a different silhouette, I think it could have been like impeccably gorgeous. Not that this isn't stunning, but I just think that the skirt doesn't go with the rest of the look. So I'm gonna give her look a soft slay. And then we have our new drag superstar, Kyron Thrax, who honestly I'm kind of surprised ended up taking the win today. But I think given the type of drag that Lavoie does, she's gonna be a shoo-in for either an all-star season, a versus the world season. She's gonna have an incredibly successful career long after this show. I mean, the woman already does 300 gigs a year anyways. But with Kyron's look here, I don't know if I would say this is finale level. I think it's really true to her aesthetic where it's a little more grunge, a little punky. I liked the hair. I thought that was kind of a fun, weird, odd silhouette. And just in terms of the way it's treated and the way it's styled. The dress with this like clear cellophane wrapped around it. I don't know if it really goes all the way for me. I think there's something interesting about this, definitely. But I don't know if it's an interesting thing that I like. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it just an okay. 
But congratulations to her on taking home the crown. But with that, it's time to pick my favorite look of the week to be our final slate of the day. For me, once again, it's going to be Marmalade, which shouldn't be surprising. But when we take this look and put it up against her Call Me Mother Nature runway, I love both of these. I really, really do. But I already have a Rococo Slay of the Season piece coming up. That's the next one I'm doing after Marina Summers, specifically Sephira Crystal's blue runway from the True Colors episode. I think for that reason, I want to do her Call Me Mother Nature look more. Plus, it's just simpler. I'm all for a simpler aesthetic that I can just make really elegant and really gorgeous. So, her Call Me Mother Nature runway is our official slay of the season. Really, I truly do think my favorite look out of this season. And it really cemented Marmalade for me as the runway girl out of every season of Drag Race UK. So we will see you over on Patreon next week for our final UK6 video. Again, join at the $5 tier level if you want to access that and find out the extra look from the Eliminated Queens that I will be making an illustration of. We'll see you in the next one. And thank God we are officially down to just five seasons that we're covering on the channel. So I cannot wait to just have just a, just a slight, just this slight little reprieve. And until then, be sure to go out there, y'all. Stay kind, stay queer, and make sure that your day is very slight.